Welcome to the World Trade Webcast. I'm Greg Sandler, president of thinkglobal.com, the B2B marketplace for global trade leads. The world is awash with economic information. Governments release reports, pundits give their interpretation on television, and the stock market may go its own way, which confuses all of us. A new book is out that might help you better understand what it all means for you and your business. This week on the World Trade Webcast, we'll focus on big picture economics, how to navigate the new global economy, a new award-winning book by columnist and futurist Joel Neroff and veteran journalist Ron Shearer. Joel, Ron, welcome to Think Global's World Trade Webcast. Thanks for having us. Big Picture Ec Economics is published by John Wiley and Sons, and it helps readers understand how context impacts decisions and decision makers. The authors examine how consumers, businesses, the Federal Reserve, and the government take into account what's going on around them in order to make crucial decisions. And the book uses real-world examples to examine how consumers, businesses, the Federal Reserve, and other decision makers assess what's going on around them in order to make decisions related to things like buying new products, building new factories, changing interest rates, and setting budget goals. So Joel and Ron, given that context for starters, uh, let's um, talk about the genesis of the book. Could you give us a quick overview of the genesis of this book and what you hope to accomplish and what you hope readers will glean from it? Well, the book really started, at least the kernel of the idea, came from when I was teaching MBAs uh, economics. And I used to explain to them that when they're out in the real world, the answer to questions are not clear. Indeed, I used to tell them the answer to every economic question was, it depends. And that's where Ron came in, is to try and show how that works as far as the world is concerned as he interviewed people. And we don't want anybody to be intimidated by Joel, even though he taught economics, because he's very good at making fun of the profession, saying right in the book itself that economists were put on earth to make weathermen look good. Well, I think we should all keep that in mind. And, uh, but nevertheless, there is some, some really sound economic research that's cited here. And, and based on your research and, and the work that you did in putting the book together, and from the quote-unquote big picture perspective, what would you say the fundamental difference is between the way policymakers view the economy and the way everyday people view the economy? Policymakers sometimes just look at their views of the world rather than the fact that the world is changing. And I know Ron did a, a whole group of interviews with real life people, and I think he's best at telling you how they look at it. Well, some people look at it purely on the basis of what's happening to them. And I'll give you a real live example was a truck driver that we talked to who moves steel from Ohio down to the uh, automobile plants. And he could look around and he could see what was going on at the automobile plants. And he could see during the beginning of the recession, there weren't very many automobiles coming out. And how that reacted and that rippled through the whole economy is that he said, gee, do I really need those new tires I was thinking of buying that will save me, save me gasoline or save me diesel? And his answer was, no, I think things are going to look bad, and so I'll postpone that decision. Well, he wasn't alone. Other people do the same thing. So people do take, they do look at context and make decisions on what, how it affects them. And I think the key point is that, and we make this in big picture economics, is that we're all economists in one way or another. We just don't recognize it. And I think Ron's was the perfect example of the fact that a business person, even if it's a trucker, is making an economic decision on the basis of the context. And that's really the key concept within the book. Absolutely. And one question that that raises then is, as the average person, whether it's a trucker or a small business owner, reacts to economic change, whether it's good or bad, is that in sync with the way, say, that policymakers react? Or are there times perhaps when the reaction on the ground with real workers is not connected to the way policymakers are, are reacting? Well, sometimes I think what we see is that policymakers are really stuck in their views of uh, what it is they're supposed to do. 
And they don't really necessarily recognize that conditions may be changing, which is really the key in the idea of context. A lot of them deal with this in a political view. And one of the things we do talk about a lot is, you know, sometimes tax cuts are good, but sometimes tax cuts are a waste of time. Sometimes raising taxes is really bad. Other times it might make a whole lot of sense. But unfortunately, too many policymakers say, well, we've got to do one thing or we've got to do the other. But it really depends on the context and which point it's best to do one or the other. Let me just add, in big picture economics, we talked to a former staff member on the Hill. And he explained to us, for example, that Congress, who comes under a fair amount of criticism all the time for its decisions, really does understand economics. These are smart guys down there. Most of them are lawyers. They know economics. But what comes first to them is not economics. It's getting reelected next time. Well, I think that's a really good point, and that in, a, in and of itself underscores the importance of context being uh, different for different people, different for the policymakers on the Hill than it is for the average person in the workforce. So that's, that's all the time we have for today's segment. Uh, we've covered just the beginning overview of the book, Big Picture Economics, and we're going to take a short break. We invite you all back uh, tomorrow for part two of our interview with Joel and Ron. And for our latest schedule of upcoming Think Global webcast episodes, please subscribe to us with any of the links below. And bookmark this page. All of our previous episodes can be found online at thinkglobal.com webcast. And thanks for joining us today.